how to use Zoho Assist for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Zoho Assist as a complete beginner for your remote support. Let's get started. First, what you have to do is you can go to assist.zoho.com or you can directly go to zoho.com slash assist. Zoho is a technology software with a lot of different products. You might have heard about Zoho Mail, Zoho Projects, Zoho Connect, then we have Zoho CRM, Surveys, People, Social, Flow, Desk, and more. There is also Zoho Assist, our remote customers and it helps us build and grow our online remote business uh, let me show you how to use zoho assist so you will need to sign up if you do not have a zoho account if you have a zoho account then you will not need to sign up for zoho assist well signing in process is really easy you can sign up with your google account or you can sign up with your email address there is also a pricing plan for zoho before we get into the features this is the dashboard Right here before i show you everything let's go ahead and check out the pricing plan really quickly so you will have an idea about the affordability of the platform so you can see right here we're getting a 15 day free trial for zoho and there's no credit card required um, there are different plans so the first one is actually a remote support so we had three plans for this one a standard plan is going to be $10 per month built annually. Then we have a professional, which is going to be $15 per month built annually. And then there is an enterprise, which is going to be $24 per month if built annually. And then there is an unattended access, which is here we do not get any technician. So there is going to be standard for $10 and 25 unattended computers. And professional is going to be $15 per month for 25 attended unattended computers all the features are listed below it's a quite reasonable pricing plan that we're getting for zoho assist so once you sign up to zoho we have these options first we have home contacts and service queue this is a remote support and if i want to access the unattended access this option then i can just move here similarly we have live camera assistance available reports and settings in unattended access, we have devices, tools, development, and settings. Let's go back to the remote support. And in home, we have access remote screen and share my screen option. Here, what I can do is I can access my remote customer's screen for troubleshooting because I want to assist them. They are my customer. They're having some problem. So I have two options. I can go ahead and access their screen or I can share mine. In order to do so, all I have to do is simply enter my customer's email address let's go ahead and enter an email address here so i have entered an email address and now i can click on start now it will allow me to access the remote screen or i can schedule it for later as well just to automate my work so this is what we do when we have some kind of time zone issue and if they're not available so we can just schedule it for them later you just have to enter the titles i'm just going to go ahead and call it test and then we can enter description select the date and time where when you want to do it and then we can also add a reminder click on schedule and your session will be scheduled for later this is me and i will be assisting them if i click on start then i will be able to access their screen of course if i have a customer right now i'm just you know creating this video but it will just create a support session for me so that is how we simply access a remote screen using zoho assist moving on we have the contact option in contact what i can do is if i have in a business and i have my subscribers i have my followers i can create a list and then i will be able to assist them really quickly i will be able to save my customers data click on add contact or click on import list if you want to add a contact manually just click on it and then enter their email address let's just go ahead and enter this email address for instance then enter their name we can enter their street city state country and zip code then we can enter their mobile number work phone company the most important thing is the email once you have added all the information right here about your contact click on submit and a brand new contact will be created here i can now go ahead and add another one if i like again click on submit and there you go this is how we create different contacts 
and now you can see I am getting the remote support and screen share option here directly. Similarly, if I click on these three dots, I will be able to send URL links or edit the information. I can also import a list. You can see import contact and I can import it from my Gmail or my website. So this is how you will be adding different contacts. Then we have a service queue. So what happens in service queue is that I can go ahead and initiate remote support session anytime, anywhere, simply by raising a request in the service queue. With service queue, what I can do is I can organize a simultaneous customer support and provide assistance in clutter-free environment. This way, people will know that when they're in the queue and I will be able to automate my work. We can set up a service queue with just three steps. First, configure company portal, authentication and enable service queue so that's how we do it uh, but it's actually for very large businesses and if you want to do it you can just click on configure now then do the authentication and enable the and enable the service queue let's go back to home and this is where we can you know access remote and share screen if I go to unattended access, then we have these devices here and we have development link that I can copy from here. We have bulk development and we also have the download installer that we can install on Windows, Mac, Linux, Android and PI. If I go to tools right here, then I will get my system manager in development. I will be able to get my access to my domains, distributors, development link, native tool, and we also get settings here. In settings, we will get our proxy and session confirmation. Then we have the live camera assistance. If you want to uh, verify uh, a person, a customer, sometimes we do this uh, to verify a customer. We, we have to take their interview live. So then we use this one. Or if you need to do a live camera assistance to them, help them, then you can use this option. Uh, moving on, we have reports. In reports, of course, I will be able to get reports for all of my sessions, my custom report, unattended access, or dial-in reports. Then I will also be able to get live report service queue. Then we have session duration and more. Last, we have settings. And in settings, I will be able to access my organization where I can do my manage technician settings, department, rebranding, subscription. In report support, we have customer widget here, contacts, self-service portal, and post session redirection. In general, we have preferences, email templates, email configuration, and session recording. If you want to record your session, then you can just simply go to this section here. Unattended access, we have deployment, domains group, walk on land, proxy. Again, we have privacy settings here under the security and compliance. And last, we have integrations where we can integrate other applications as well, not just our Zoho apps, but we can also integrate others. But uh, mainly we can add our Zoho Desk, Zoho Sales, Zoho Mails, Zoho Bookings, the apps that we think might work good with Zoho Assist and help us assist our remote customers. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know how to use Zoho Assist to assist your remote customers. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.